Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be back at you with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to put on a wig. This is a start to finish video starting from when you cut the lace to when you glue the wig down. Before we jump into everything, totally make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and you click that notification bell below so you can get a notification every time I upload. If you aren't already following me on Instagram, my two Instagrams are at shopwillbeauty and at willbeautyofficial. Make sure to follow me on both to hear about any special sales or promotions I have going on and to learn about all of my newest styles as soon as they come out. Alright, so we're going to be talking about how to get your wig to stay on. This is a huge problem that a lot of new drag queens and experienced drag queens deal with. How can you keep your wig on so she doesn't fly off? Every queen has lost their wig on stage. I don't care what anyone says, it has happened to everyone. Whether it's right from the beginning, maybe something goes wrong and you're super experienced, and your wig flies off, and there you are in front of a bunch of people in the club without your wig. Literally, it has been snatched. So, it's really important to make sure that you find what works best for you. I say this throughout the video, Everyone is different. Whether you have long hair, short hair, or no hair, it's going to be slightly different for everyone. So I really hope that you can take some of the tips and techniques that I use in this video and use them to your advantage. There's tons of other wig prep videos online, but I get a lot of questions as to how I would recommend applying my wigs. So definitely do your research, definitely practice. If you have a show and you plan on whipping that hair, girl, take some time a few days before and do the full brigade. You don't have to put your makeup on, but get your wig prepped, get your hair prepped, pin her in, glue her on, practice your number, and whip her as hard as you can to make sure that she is not going anywhere, all right? So enough of me blabbering, let's get into the video, and we're gonna start right now. So when I'm cutting the lace on a wig, I like to prop the wig up on a chair, or just lay her flat on a surface. I'm gonna prop her up like so to give you all a good visual of what I'm doing. I'm gonna trim about a, let's say a quarter of an inch out. You can go further out if you like. In theater, on Broadway, the laces are often very long. But when you're doing drag or photos or anything, I recommend cutting it much closer. I like to use little scissors like so. These are just really sharp, pointy eyebrow scissors. I find them the easiest to use because they're short, so you can't cut too much, and it gives you a lot of control. So as I'm cutting, I will follow the shape of the hairline. If there's a widow's peak, I'll follow that as well. Almost all of my wigs from Shopwell Beauty have a soft widow's peak, and they have a natural looking irregular hairline. It's not just a perfectly round hairline for my lace front. There we go. So that's our lace. We can just throw that out. I'll look at my lace, like so. And that looks pretty good to me, so I'm gonna leave her as is. She's ready to be applied. So now that the lace of our wig has been trimmed, she is ready to be put on, but first we need to prep our head. So depending on what type of hair you have, it's gonna be different. If you have very long hair, it's gonna be slightly different than how I prep my hair now. Applying a wig to long hair, you can put it in French braids, you can twist it, you can do pin curls, there's lots of things you can do, and the good thing is, is you have a lot of hair to anchor your wig into. So as long as you have it all nice and kept underneath the wig, you should be good and be able to pin it right in and be good to go. But my hair is very short on the sides, and I have a little bit of length on top. So these are my face tapes, and I use them to just kind of lift up my face a little bit to give it a little bit more of a kind of snatched look. So what I'm going to do is use my wig prep as a way to anchor my face tapes, but also anchor my wig. Okay, so my hair looks crazy because it was in that little ponytail, but it doesn't really matter how it looks underneath, you just want to have a nice anchor for your wig. So typically when I am 
prepping my wig, I use little ponytails on the top of my head that are very tight so I can um, use hairpins or bobby pins to anchor my wig in so it has that nice strong anchor to hold down the bulk of the wig and then I can glue it down and she's really secure and ready to go. So I'm gonna take a nice big elastic band for this one specifically and I'm just gonna make a very tight little itty bitty ponytail and there we go. So this is mainly for the face tapes. If you're not using face tapes, you can skip that and just move on to how I separate the rest of the head. Um, but I will also use it as an extra anchor for my wig since it's already there. So for these next little ponytails, I'm going to be using these tiny little clear elastics. I'm going to divide the remaining hair on top of my head into two sections. They do not need to be neat or pretty. And then now that I have this section, I'm going to divide this again into two sections. And then the remaining hair I'll divide into two sections. And then I'm just going to pull all of these really tight. Okay, now that I look like a deranged Miley Cyrus, I'm going to bring back my face tapes. And So this next step is optional. It's only if you want to have that added security or if you know you're going to be whipping your hair around or doing hair flips and stuff like that. Um, so if you're just kind of putting a wig on and wearing it and not doing anything crazy, you can skip this, but I'm just going to show you so you know how to do it. So we're going to take some duct tape, pull a nice long strip, and this can be really uncomfortable if you have hair like, you know, towards the nape of your neck, which if you have hair on your head, you probably do. But basically, I'm going to go right beneath that wig cap on the back. And then on top, I'm just going to tape over that wig cap. Really nice and tight. and it should feel a little secure. And what this does is it gives you a point of tension to put your pins underneath. And then on the back, because I do have a little bit of that tape on my skin, um, it kind of really anchors the back of my wig on and gives me that nice tension so I can pin into the back of my wig. I can pin around the entire circumference of the wig and really keep it nice and anchored. So at this point, you want to make sure you have your entire costume on. If you're wearing pads, you want to have everything else on. This is really going to be like your final step of getting into drag. So I'm going to go and throw on some stuff and I'll be right back. So now I'm going to put on my wig. So if you want, you can change the tension with the tabs in the back. which honestly is a really easy way just to give you a little bit more peace of mind. So I just did it on the tightest setting. When I put a wig on, I take it and I put it kind of upside down once I have it kind of on. I'll look in a mirror and adjust it. The best thing about like kind of finger wavy type wigs is you can hide a lot of things but yeah so now that she's situated and I've gotten her exactly where I want her I'm going to pin her in there's a difference between hair pins and bobby pins so let me show you the difference this little guy is a bobby pin where the actual pins like come together this one is a hairpin. You really want to use hairpins over bobby pins. You can use bobby pins, and I will use both, but hairpins are meant to go in and anchor into something, whereas bobby pins are used a little bit more for styling. So what I'm going to do is feel for each of those little ponytails, and I am going to anchor her on each side of the ponytail. So if this is my ponytail, I'm gonna have one hairpin going in this way, and one going in the opposite way. 
So now I have two pins in each of my little ponytails. So now I'm going to take some and go a little bit behind the lace and pin under that duct tape. Let me see if I can show you a little better on this side. So I'm going behind my lace. I kind of will like, kind of wiggle it in there. I go forward and through that lace and then I hook it underneath the wig cap and underneath the duct tape. And I do that on the temples for the most part. And then I'll go in the back and maybe do a couple through the back part of just that wefted part of the wig. And this can hurt. You'll start to grab the duct tape and you'll feel like it pulling up the little bits of hair that you might have cut. And I just take a deep breath and push really hard in one go. One, two. No one ever said drag is not painful. But if it goes in and it kind of hurts, you know that it means like she's really on there. Um, if you don't feel much after pinning it in, maybe your duct tape has like kind of slid up a little bit, so you definitely want to check that out. It shouldn't feel pleasant to pin it in on the nape of the neck. All right, so now that our wig is pinned in, locked and loaded, we can move her around. She feels secure and she's not budging. We can finish her off with a little bit of spirit gum. So there are a lot of different types of wig glue. There are wig glues that are used to secure wigs for days on days. There are wig glues that are just meant for one night. So I pretty much just stick to spirit gum. If you want to explore other options, I totally encourage you to look some things up online, look on YouTube, see what other people are using. I can only speak from experience using spirit gum. It keeps the wig locked down during a performance and throughout the night. Um, but it's still easy enough to take off. If you ever spill spirit gum, get it on your clothes, get it anywhere you don't want it or it's just like sticky on your hands, all you need is some rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol. The higher the percentage, the better. Um, and if possible, you can use that to prep your skin, but since I have so much makeup, I'm not gonna do that. Um, also, when you have residue left over after wearing the wig, you can use a little bit of alcohol to get rid of that after you wash your face or before you wash your face. So, I like the spirit gums that just have the good old like, brush attached. So, I am just taking the littlest amount and I am just applying it underneath this lace on the bottom side and a little bit onto my skin. And I just let that sit for a second, just because um, you can use your fingers to make it tacky, but you can also just wait, so it's up to you. Depending on how much you sweat, you might want to use more or less. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit. If you want, you can go onto the hairline um, on, up here, but I usually just skip that. You don't need to do it. You really just want to make sure that these temples are nice and glued down. So now that it's been sitting for a second, I'm just going to take my finger. So I would definitely recommend letting this sit for maybe a couple minutes. You can also take a hair dryer to speed it up. So I'm just going to let this glue dry down and I'll check back in in a few minutes. So. Now that I've let this dry, you can tug on the temples. You can see I'm lightly tugging and it's pulling my skin and my, like, everything with the wig. That means you're good to go, she's glued on, and that glue is dry. Alright, so now that your wig is glued down, you are ready to go, you're ready to hit the night, the club, girl, whatever you're doing. This wig is not going to budge, I can assure you. Alrighty doll, so that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful and you loved it. Please make sure to click that thumbs up button below if you liked the video and make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so you can get a notification every time I upload. And yeah, make sure you're following me on Instagram at shopwillbeauty and at willbeautyofficial. If you wanna buy any of my wigs, custom styles or lace fronts or any of my merch, head on over to shopwillbeauty.com to shop all of my products. 
If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Reach out to me on Instagram or email me at info at shopwillbeauty.com. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Toodles!